We're approaching science like designers to make better machines, better architectures, better ways of communicating between people. That's basically bio-inspired design. Nanotechnology is one of the things we're using molecules as building blocks to make nanoscale machines. We use a technique known as DNA origami to take a piece of DNA and fold it into the 3D structure that comprises the robot, the machine. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of Lego. We can make a Lego system, we can make a Lego set, but at the nanoscale. We can use DNA origami to make a Lego uh, set so that children can learn nanotechnology just like it's a sort of a Lego game. We also use the Xbox for, you know, as a, as a control interface for nanorobots. We're just submitting a paper uh, about using, um, you know, using brain, brain machine interfaces to control nanobots inside a living animal, depending on what you think. As a designers, we're just, you know, we say, let's build something and see if it works. That's our approach, jumping off a cliff approach.